Good evening, and welcome to Montefiore Einstein's inaugural COVID-19 Remembrance Ceremony. Thank you for joining us as we honor those we've lost and those who come together every day to heal New York. Please welcome Dr. Philip Ozawa, President and CEO of Montefiore Medicine. Thank you. Thank you. Big thanks to our very own Orchestra of the Bronx, joined tonight by the Every Voice uh, Choir. I, I don't know if you know this, but since 1972, the Orchestra of the Bronx has been sharing the joys of classical mu music for free. And the Every Voice Choir has been empowering young people to share their voice. Thank you again to both of them. Tonight, we gather in soberness and solemnity. And yet, tonight, we gather also in gratitude and majesty. On this day, last year, the smallest dinosaur ever discovered was found in a mine in Myanmar, Burma. And on this day, last year, an 11-year run by the stock market crashed. Because on this day last year, for the first time in 100 years, the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic. And on this day last year, the first case of COVID-19 arrived at Montefiore. So you set aside your own personal safety and went to war against this new virus. And in doing so, you went above and beyond your duty to save thousands and thousands of lives at great risk to yourselves and your families. Your extraordinary excellence was in place long before the first COVID case arrived at our doors, but nothing, nothing could have prepared us for the unique agony of COVID-19. Family visits were banned, and so it fell on you alone to comfort dying patients and to hold their hands. And it fell on you alone to call the families afterwards and say, your loved one did not die alone, 
I was there. She died with me. And we did this thousands of times. The virus did not spare us either. We lost 28 of our dearest colleagues to COVID-19 despite our best efforts. Their memory inspires us even as we grieve. And so we are honored at Montefiore to receive this survivor tree from the 9-11 Memorial Museum. This is a tree given to cities and countries that have endured a tragedy. But it was given to us here at Montefiore. May it take root here. May it grow tall and grow many branches here and be a visible symbol of our remembrance and a testament of our resilience. Because resilience and remembrance is our path into the future. Please join me in observing a moment of silence to honor all who have been lost, who live on in our hearts. Thank you. And now joining us is the band leader for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, a multi-Grammy nominee and Golden Globe winner. He is a composer, recording artist, joy giver, and civil justice activist, Mr. John Batiste. <laughs> I'm honored to be a part of this remarkable ceremony, honoring the doctors, the nurses, and the healthcare workers who have been risking their lives on the front lines of this pandemic for humanity. We see you and we love you, and we want to be right there with you if we could, and we need you to keep pushing. United we remember, united we rise. And together we won't ever stop. Don't stop. I see trees of green And red roses too I see them bloom
colors of the rainbow So pretty in the sky And also all the faces
Thank you. Thank you to all the beautiful voices. Uh, you and the Mama Foundation, home of Sing Harlem. Amazing grace. You know, this past year, we witnessed the savagery of the slow motion murder of, of one man at the knee of another in a brutal display of racial injustice. And we witnessed this new virus savage poor and minority communities vividly exposing how poor social conditions combine to leave entire communities particularly vulnerable to the lethality of COVID-19. And at this point, I'm asking you to join me in our war against healthcare inequities, to help fight it by advocating for better conditions, better access, and for more equitable distribution of healthcare assets, but most of all, insisting on compassion toward the overlooked, the underserved, the vulnerable, and the ones who've borne the brunt of this once-in-a-lifetime pandemic. America changed its behavior in profound and fundamental ways to mitigate this virus, and I dare to believe that we as a people have the nobility, the capacity to summon the same selfless courage and determination to establish equal justice for all and finally prove the true strength of our shared humanity. God bless you. Thank you.